हेलो एवरीवन हाय रागिनी हाय सोनिया हाय ज्योतिर्मय हाय स्नेहा हाय सुषमा हाउ यू गाइज आर डूइंग हाय रानी आ थैंक यू सो मच सुजाता थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट हाय पल्लवी ओके हाय गुंदीप ओके सो लेट्स वेट फॉर सम टाइम एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट so how you guys are doing hope everything is okay at your side uh thank you so much rani thank you so much for your hearts and this uh, care uh, smiley <laughs> that's really sweet of you oh uh, thank you jyotin mai thank you so much guys Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. So as you all know, today we gonna alter these uh, wooden spoons. I have these wooden spoons. These are not uh, of good quality. I order uh, from Amazon, and you know they sell something else. They show picture, and uh, we got something else. So hi Charu, hi Ragini. Yes, I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Hi Sangeeta. Okay, so I thought instead of uh, you know uh, return, uh, I'll just alter this. It will be great project for me too. So yeah. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Rani. Thanks a lot for your support. Hi Hina. Okay, so people are still joining, and uh, so shall we start? Hi Nibedita. Hi Minakshi. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, Rani, thank you so much. <laughs> no, actually, these are very thin, so we can't use these for cooking purpose because. Uh, i don't know if i am able to show you look at this it's very thin so <laughs> okay uh shilpa i got this from amazon but they show uh, in picture it it was uh, something else and when i received this i got this you know thin uh, spatulas actually i order for my cooking purpose only but i didn't like the quality of it so yeah okay so let's start so first uh, okay i have few uh, new designs in resin so i'll be using that hope you can see this so these are the designs okay i have few other designs as well i'll just give you a look okay so these are the designs and this uh this one is recent so hope you can see this okay uh yes shilpa now they will be home decor piece so basically a uh, kitchen decor you can say and uh, okay i have these new designs as well i don't know where the other one okay so this is the this is my favorite and soon you will be uh, i will be using this in my upcoming project so stay tuned for that so these are the new designs which uh, i have made so i'll update these designs in my um, page soon 
along with prices and sizes uh thank you so much ragini most of the time i bought my silicone molds from the amazon or uh, handmade uh, that is hnd md or um, crafters corner so there you will find this kind of a molds and also if you are interested in buying this um, resin casting you can always contact me on my page so i'll just keep this aside okay we don't want this as of now so i'll be uh, using this one only as we have very small portion to work on okay so what you uh, what you are saying charu your resin embellishment is self made embellishment yes it uh, made using molds so yeah uh yeah uh, crafter corners many are sold but uh, they are always updating their stock so you have to check it uh, you know okay so now without wasting further time we can start okay i forgot to show you one more so this is the one more design uh, i just took out this from mold and it's still wet you can see so it will take at least one day to you know uh, look like this stiff so resin takes uh, 24 hours to get dry completely i hope you can see the design so yeah ah oh, thank you so much thank you so much gundeep this is really sweet comment from you okay so now uh, first uh, okay, let me make some space here so i have kind of rough idea like how i will arrange this embellishment so before that uh, we need to prepare our base and for that uh, i need to create some texture you can also use stencil if you want but i'm i'm not using stencil i i will be using uh, some ground texture paste okay i miss some uh yes manali sure i will share the links uh, of this silicon molds if you are interested in buying them okay so i have this ground texture paste with me uh, just in case if you don't have ground texture paste then what you can do is you can add uh, this uh, rangoli that is fine sand you can see this is very fine sand so you can mix this rangoli in your pva glue and make a mixture and just uh, use it as a texture paste so that also create very nice texture i don't have that project with me as of now uh no i don't have that project with me as of now but uh, yeah okay so now what i'm going to do i will spread this texture paste to create the background so just take a good amount of texture paste on your palette knife and just spread it randomly so this will uh, add very nice you know uh, texture look on your background and you can also use stencil if you want you know stencil pattern but i'm not using that a stencil because see the take uh, area on which we are working it's already very small and how much you know pattern we can add over here so just a good amount of texture paste here and here as well
okay i am missing some comments what you are saying if you don't have a resin mold okay and this mirror can we use modeling clay yes uh, so Jack you can use modeling clay as well it's not necessary that you have to use resin you can use modeling clay or mold it or you know any epoxy clay if you have or uh, uh, I don't know the other clays but yeah you can use whatever clay you have with you so that is done and for my another uh, thing I will use oops okay uh yes gundip i will use deco stones hopefully they will get dry <laughs> in life because they takes really uh too much time to get dry and on this i am using uh, another uh, ground texture paste and this has very coarse texture in it And again guys, I am just giving you an uh, idea like it's not necessary whatever material I am using that only you have to use. You can just use anything and everything which is available with you. So just start exploring and look around you what if you find anything and just use that. And here, little bit here as well. Okay, okay. And if you're new to my, you know, page, then uh, don't forget to participate in my upcoming, uh, sorry, this ongoing uh, giveaway. Okay, in future also I have some plan for giveaways, but uh, right now we have one giveaway going on. So in which you have to just share this video in relevant groups okay thank you so much thanks a lot guys please share the details of resin you are using okay prerna uh, i will uh, share all the details once this live finishes off uh, along with links so that you can directly buy it and uh, yeah okay now this texture paste is still dry and i will uh, arrange my I will arrange my embellishments and uh, for sticking purpose I am using gel medium okay so I'm thinking okay so here will be so I have a very rough idea in my mind how I will arrange this and since this uh, texture paste is still dry it will also help to hold these embellishments just give some broom okay so here so likewise okay and one more i'm thinking it will go like this okay Uh, Neelam, uh, you can use, uh, say, uh, any fine sand if you have or as I said earlier, you can use this rangoli as well. That also create very nice texture on the project. And, uh, and what else? What else? You can use uh, small stones as well for your texture. Tissue paper or... Uh, Uh, I'm just thinking what we can use. <laughs> uh, Nivisha, these embellishments are uh, 
available with me if you want to buy just uh, let me know just message me and soon i will upload all this design on my uh, page as well so from there you can buy as well okay so this is how it will look and now we have this friends let's arrange this here thank you so much prerna yes they are beautiful i'm and i'm always looking for you know new molds because uh, recently i am just i just fell in love with molds so yeah so okay this is done and let's move on to our next one uh pallavi i got these uh, spoons from amazon by mistakely <laughs> okay and i have these so i'll use them here let's use them here just to fill this space and also this angel looks nice in any kind of projects it's a gel medium manali because uh, gel medium is good to you know hold our embellishments for longer time you can also use glue gun but i don't prefer glue gun or you can use uh, fevicol but don't use normal fevicol you can use a uh, sh fevicol that is a uh, bit um, okay that sh fevicol is thick so you can use that and also make sure you don't want to cover this you know this hole because okay and we have another one let's add this side so i'm making uh, these two uh, spoons kind of similar but uh, not exactly similar but yeah kind of Uh, shahin you can uh, mix your mod podge in rangoli powder or you can uh, use uh, pva glue i have this mod podge which last time i have uh, used this this fevicryl mod podge so we want a binding thing basically so that you know it uh, it will be it will help to hold it on our project let's add this side here just give it a good press because we have texture going on on this okay guys uh, i think i am missing some comments uh what was your uh, kiori kior kiran can you just repeat it again because i just missed it and don't worry if i miss some comments i will uh, answer you after you know this live is finished okay okay kiran i am waiting for your uh, query because i don't know what query you had i just missed it <laughs> okay and for this here i am using this for uh, this uh, i don't know what you call this this is not angel maybe some greek god <laughs> yes pallavi for sure and let's add this here and just give it a good press okay so now all our embellishments are done 
now we can add uh, deco stones around here and there so let's do that for that uh, i need just a second uh yes kiran sure i will uh, share the resin details after this live finish uh, finishes off because that reason is not with me as of now it's in cupboard and i need to see i think it's huxon's uh, huxon's reason so just uh, take out few deco stones and add some mod podge into it you can also do one thing you can add glue first and then add deco stones but uh, i am adding deco stones i mean i'm mixing this deco stones with some mod podge first because that way uh, you will get very nice clustery look of you know deco stones okay and this way it will be easier to add this as well so i like to use my deco stones like this hi hazel so just fill the empty space wherever you know you feel like you need to uh, fill the space just add it over there just here i hope it will get dry immediately okay what you are saying crafter no. oh thank you so much ragini and sushma thank you so much guys for the help really means a lot and i really appreciate your help Okay, and maybe here. Okay, so I think we don't have much space. Okay. Yes, deco stones are available at Expressions Craft. and they have very fine quality of deco stones also at very uh, also it's pocket friendly you can also use micro beads if you have micro beads or if you have um, what else uh, other beads you know which we use in jewelry making so you can use them that as well so my only point is don't uh, limit yourself just you know uh, just don't think like i don't have this material then what should i do and stuffs like that you can use whatever you have and whatever you want and that's how we explore right ha huh, but for mixed media it's like uh, um few things are necessary like say gesso and if you want chalk paints and gel mediums and this deco stones these are very nice to fill the empty space also uh, micro beads uh i i also don't have micro beads handy here and you can also use a uh, shaker elements if you have they also you know just mix it with uh, pva glue and uh, yeah okay so i have mixed it too much so i think that is enough so this is how it looks as of now can you see now just we can just uh 
we need to dry this up so for that i will be using my heat gun so you have to hear little bit of noise of my heat gun and now i can read your questions hopefully it get dries soon so when you mix deco stone in um, mod podge you can see you get very nice clustery look so look at this it's falling you can get very nice clustery look and when you apply uh, glue first and then pour some deco stone then uh, you don't get that clustery look and i love this clustery look so i always mix my deco stones in glue and then add it Uh, thank you so much madhvi thanks a lot so we will just uh, dry this up quickly hopefully and just make sure that you are working on wooden spoon and uh, you know while applying heat wooden tend to bend a little bit so just you know distribute your heat thank you so much sura uh, sonia thank you so much sushma just a little bit more okay and look at this so it's a uh, semi dried as you can see and now we can color it so for that i need to protect my surface and i'm thinking to use chalk paint okay let's make some room here and i'm thinking to use uh, these shades today these are from um, emix expression craft so i'm thinking to use these uh, two shades on one uh, spatula and these two shade on an another uh, spatula okay so let's do it let's take out Oh thank you so thank you so much Sushma thank you Swati thank you Rani So when you are using a uh, chalk pen just make sure to uh, shake them little bit Look at the beautiful shades here okay you just stay here first we will work on this Hi Gauri, thank you so much for joining. How are you doing? Okay, so using my brush, let's cover this. So I'll just show you the shade here. Look at the beautiful shade. and just dilute your color little bit 
with water so you know it will go all the intricate parts okay so um, what look at this ah uh, thank you so much thank you so much dear okay my fan is off and that's why i'm thinking why i am feeling <laughs> okay okay so here let's cover it and just take uh, another dark shade and using same brush just apply it so that you will get nice blended look Okay, miss some comments. Uh, hi, Lalita. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are doing great. So, see, a uh, few deco stones are still not dried. So, when I'm use uh, applying this chalk paint, they are just falling off. Okay, frankly speaking, I love this color. Okay, what? Uh, uh, thank you so much, Monica. Thank you so much, Kiran. Uh, yes, uh, Lalita, you can use, if you don't have chalk paint, you can use acrylic paints as well. Or spray paints or you know uh, whatever paint you have you can use that okay so that is done here I need a little bit so you can see I'm using same brush and now we'll wait these two we'll wait for some time to get it dry and meanwhile we will color another uh, another brush sorry another uh, spoon I said brush <laughs> okay just wait it. let's cover this one and for that I am using these uh, two shades different two shades because we don't want same shades here Uh, guys do share this video and invite your friends to you know join us okay now i don't have space so here i took out uh, extra paint so you can just put it back in your bottle because yes we don't want to waste it I'm just putting it back because uh, we can use this you know this much of paint oops okay let it be okay now uh, let's move to our another oops so i will quickly do it for you guys
ओह थैंक यू सो मच सुषमा थैंक यू सो मच एंड जस्ट इन केस इफ यू आर यूजिंग स्प्रे पेंट और यू नो अनादर पेंट देन जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यूज जेसो बिकॉज दैट विल प्राइम योर सरफेस जेसो इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आई एम हियर आई हैवंट यूज जेसो बिकॉज चॉक पेंट विल डू द प्राइमिंग पार्ट सो दैट्स वाई आई हैवंट यूज जेसो ओके कैन यू हैव यू नोटिस दैट आई हैव put it in a wrong way the keyhole <laughs> looks weird here anyways so it's like upside down yes okay i missed some comments what you are saying you know Uh, sorry joint just now can i enjoy? okay we now these are resin embellishments which i have used you can buy this resin embellishments from me if you are interested and soon i will uh, add this uh, picture uh, along with price and uh, sizes on my page so stay tuned for that so you can see how poor the quality of this so when i apply heat it just bend but it looks nice so yeah so that is the thing which i was talking about when you are using heat on wooden thing or mdf panel just make sure to distribute your heat otherwise they tend to bend okay so now okay we need little bit of oh, where is that shit? okay we need little bit of this thank you so much sonia thanks a lot I think it's looking nice. Which one is your favorite, guys? Do let me know. Okay, here. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Vina. Sure, I will do that. Okay, so now that's done. Let's keep this aside, and we will just heat set this little bit so that we can do our highlighting part. Oh, thank you so much, Sushma. You're always so kind to me. and see these are chalk paints this dries in matte finish if you use acrylic they will uh, be little bit of fine, uh, shinier side so you can see when i apply heat on this cardboard they also get you know uh, bend Okay, so that is done. Let's keep our cardboard aside, and now we will do a uh, highlighting part, which is uh, most important in mixed media because see, we apply lot of uh, different kind of textures and you know elements, so we need to uh, pop them up little bit. So for that, uh, I'm using my metallics okay just in case if you don't have this metallic you can also use fevicryl metallics uh, they are very cheap and very nice in color and they come around 20 rupees so look at this so you don't have to invest much so this is how it looks okay my camera is blur okay 
you look at the sparkle so i'll show you one thing which i have made using only fevicryl metallics so look at this 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 piece was uh, made using only fevicryl metallics and you can see here i have used this sequence these are mostly used in shaker elements so yeah uh, you don't have to you know stop yourself you can use whatever you have with you so you can see here so here and here you can see a small sequence just mix it with uh, fevicol or you know mod podge and you are good to go okay let's keep this here and now okay where i was i want to highlight and these are the uh, micro beads you can see here so just in case if you don't have deco stone you can go with the micro bits and uh, for base you can see i have used popsicle sticks so again uh, as i always say you don't have to wait for you know uh, you don't have to limit yourself just use whatever you have i heard like uh, some people came to me they were like i don't have canvas what should i do i don't have mdf what should i do so i always say uh, just use whatever you have why you have to uh, you know invest much in art if you are doing with your heart then yeah okay now i am talking rubbish let's move to highlighting part so i am using uh, metallics with dry brush technique and as you can see this just bend but that's okay so for dry brush technique your brush should be completely dry and just with light pressure start applying colors and since our base is uh, we have used chalk paint and those are in matte finish so metallics always goes nice on you know matte finish surface okay thank you so much kanchan thank you so much namita thank you so much guys for joining so i can as you can see when i am applying my paint so all the texture they just start popping up and now it's not dried completely okay oh where is my my metallics are little bit dried so that's why i have used water in it thank you so much sun thank you so much uh, sonia thank you so much sushma yes highlighting is my favorite part too because that actually give our uh, project nice finishing look just this side and now it's ready to hang just apply some uh okay how i forget this angel just apply some varnish and it's good to hang and it's a beautiful kitchen decor look at this thank you so much thank you so much sangeeta thank you thank you so much shilpa okay so here it's done i think enough of 
uh, highlighting so yeah and now we will do same process on this so for that i am thinking to use white or gold will look nice let's try gold first okay it's looking nice Okay. And whenever you are, uh, you know, working, just don't forget sides as well, because that gives very nice finishing look to our project. at this okay what you are saying uh, Sushma silver or white metallic okay I will try that as well let's see hmm let's try Let's try with white. It's not looking good. It's hardly visible. If can you see the white? It's hardly visible. I think golden golden is the perfect shade for that okay so here little bit here uh, what you are saying Jyoti where to get these wings uh, which wings you are talking about okay this one these are uh, metal wings uh, I got uh, I don't really remember uh, actually because I made this piece like say a year ago so I but I'll just uh, check for you and maybe in Amazon you can get it just search metal embellishment and you will get that okay so now i don't want to ruin it so i can call it as a finish piece so this is how the both these spoons looks like look at this thank you so much thank you so much jyoti so I will upload these pictures uh, once my live is finished and now I think we can if you have any question do let me know so that now because now I am free and uh, yeah it, it don't want to stand okay uh, thank you so much Sonia thank you so much Shilpa thanks a lot guys so any questions okay oh thank you so much sushma thank you so much for this art if you guys feel inspired and if you make something like this then don't forget to share with me we do have a uh, facebook uh, facebook group so you can uh, join and you know uh, share your work over there okay oh thank you so much nivisha thank you so much yes it's looking beautiful and if you want to purchase anything do let me know i do have shop on etsy and for my indian uh, 
clients you can just contact me all my projects are you know uh, there in my facebook page and also i will upload these designs which i have shown at the beginners uh, begin beginning of the video so i will upload these designs soon along with prices so just in case if anyone is interested in buying this do let me know these are my favorite pair you can see and these are very big so this is this is the thing i have for sale so just let me know and we do have a youtube channel so i will upload whole session just in case if you miss i will upload whole session on my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe subscribe to me over there too okay then i'll just take your leave and thank you so much guys for joining in and thank you so much vina thank you thank you so much sonia thank you sushma thank you sushma for your lovely support thanks rani thanks jyoti okay then i'll just take your leave and uh, till then <laughs> i will be back till then uh, okay just a second just a second okay okay i forgot to uh, say one thing if anyone wants to uh, learn more in advanced like advanced mixed media do let me know i do take classes uh, since those are not official but soon i will make a banner for that and make it official so just in case if you want to learn mixed media decoupage or altering art just let me know okay then uh, bye bye take care and happy creating bye